Welcome back. Wow, that's really loud. That's a lot of volume. Welcome back at Dharma, full house. I like that. For those of you who haven't joined us today, I hope your shoes are somewhere at the perimeter. Otherwise, you can just pass them to the neighbor, to the neighbor, to the neighbor who puts them there. So we can all keep the place clean. And then I would like to, um, I'm just going to sit down and relax. Yeah. You know what I look like now, right? Hey there. Um, our next talk is going to be very nice. I'm sure that's why we got a packed place, because it's going to be sensual, sexual combined with Taoism, which is very interesting. And the two people that are going to do this talk are Sol and his beautiful wife, Juma Vitali. And their talk is called Sacred Sex. Taoist sexuality. Please welcome them to the stage with a very, very big applause. Welcome to the Taoist, Taoist Sexuality Conference. My name is Sol. I've been studying Ayurveda, Tao, numerology and shamanism in South America. And today I'm here to explain what is this sacred sex and how it works. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's me, now I'm gonna talk. So, welcome everybody. I like his eyes, curious, and <laughs> trembling. Well, let's talk about uh, relationship first. Because sex is about relationship. And yeah, we had a beautiful relationship with the seven years. We worked together seven years. And uh, in, in these uh, seven years, we experimented a lot of techniques of, about sexuality, about Taoism. We, we knew also Tantra, something about it. And then we tuned into. Taoist, uh, Taoist philosophy that is more about uh, uh, your own alignment uh, with your own sexuality, with your own independence and uh, really to tune into a vibration that smell of love, sex and spirit together and God. And then when you are ready with this you really are ready to meet someone and uh, introduce yourself and uh, let the other one know into your field and welcome into your field someone else. So that's my experience of Tao. Then we go. Yeah, I was interested in uh, Taoist because on my path I met a medicine from Brazil and as a lot of other medicine plants is required to attain a certain diet to a sex of diet because it drains a lot of energy and so during my path I had the lucky to meet these powerful techniques and I had the opportunity to understand how my sexuality works so first of all we can pronounce Tao or Dao this is why there are different several schools in China but the meaning is always the same and Tao it means the way. Tao is an ancient philosophy, it is about 8,000 years ago so it's quite old and it covers most aspects of life from medicine to politics, behavior, astrology and sexuality. So today we are here only to explain the Tao, the Tao of sexuality. The first principle of the Tao is to transform the energy within the body, the sexual energy, into spiritual energy. So to spiritualize the material energy in Qi. In Qi, the Tao is said, Qi, to, that means breath, to connect with the energy, with the primal energy, the primordial energy. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> the primordial energy. So we all of us as the primordial energies, that is the basement of attraction. So when you meet someone, you're attracted, you just go, whoa. <laughs> or you just go, wow. <laughs> you know, it depends on where you go. Or you go, oh, my. 
<laughs> it depends where you go, okay. Depends on you. Depends on where you are in that moment with your emotions, right? So, Tao is about uh, essence. Let's breathe together. <laughs> Let's breathe together. It's about purity. It's about I want to know you. It's about clarity. There is a lot of fear to do this. And a lot of courage that you can experiment uh, in doing this. It's really about this. Let's do it together. And even if with some people, I mean, we, we worked together for seven years and we loved each other for seven years and a half. We were, we were wife and husband, right? We are not together anymore, but we can do it together even now. And we can do it and we are connected, you know. He needs this because he doesn't know English too, too, too much, so... <laughs> <laughs> I need to shoot some of that. Yeah. <laughs> so... Yes, of course, you can leave attraction and have projects with someone else and go somewhere, uh, somewhere else or continue to collaborate. That's, that's life, right? <laughs> but it's so beautiful to know how to relate uh, with people in a pure way, in a alignment. That's really beautiful, authentic. That's, that's the meaning of Tao. Because Tao teaches us that we are related with nature in a spontaneous way. We are related to nature, to animals, and to human beings naturally. And we have to learn how to be in the moment, in presence, grounded, open-hearted, and know each other's, smell each other's. No, how does it work with you? What I do with you? What I do with you? What I do with you, you know? this, what I project with you, because the sexual energy is just an energy, the starting energy, right? And then with that energy, you just getting high, 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 and you have a vision to what you do with that person. What am I going to, where I put the energy with this person? What I want to create with this person? And sometimes it, it, it remains stuck uh, that I saw too, and you just do da 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 da, -da and then it's finished. <laughs> that is not actually so good. I mean, it's, it can be good, but uh, it's, it's, let's say it's short. <laughs> we can have more uh, as human beings. We can have more. Yeah. And the Taoist sexuality is all about health. So the sexual energy is the most powerful energy within the body and it is constantly produced by the body. We are generated by sexual energy and we are the incarnation of the sexual energy. And we can, uh, this uh, sexual energy is a force and we can use this force in a destructive or in a creative way. So we can nurture our erotic fantasy we can become obsessive, compulsive by this energy, or we can use it to create an healthy body, an emotional balance, and we can grow and evolve thanks to this energy. It depends, this, if we know how to use it. So, the evolution is permitted because the sexual energy, it is used from the body to nurture the vital activity of the brain and the organs. 
and this energy it is used to create to create thoughts, feelings, emotion, the capacity to live, the willpower, and the love. And the purpose, the purpose of the Tao is to harmonize the energy within us and with our relationship, especially with the partner. It's quite popular the symbol of the Tao, the yin and yang, the white and the in black will, the masculine, the feminine, feminine, the day and the night, dark and light, the duality, the opposite. And the Tao teaches the differences, the differences between male and woman, why sometimes they can't really get in touch together. And this is why the woman has her own center in the breast, and she is the master of emotions, of feelings, and she is odd in the heart center. She can turn on, turn off her emotions in a few seconds. And man is on positive pole, in the genital area. He gets aroused in a few seconds and become hot in the genital area very fast. So these two centers, this one and this one, are the positive ones. And the negative pole for the woman is the genital area because it's cold and for the man is the heart. And they need energy to get access to this area for the man in the heart and for the woman in the genital area. So, there is a problem of communication between male and a female. When a woman meets a man, she is hot in her heart and the man is cold. Maybe the man is hot down there, but the woman not. So, how is it possible to communicate with each other? The bridge between man and woman can be only the heart, can be only the communication, because for the, med the Chinese medicine, the tongue is connected with the heart. So you put the tongue like this. When you make love. Or you kiss each other. So the tongues communicate, right? And the, so there are several differences from uh, man and woman, and so the techniques uh, for man and woman are completely different. I'm going to explain first the man techniques. More difficult. Yes, yes. The man Honestly, has to train a lot. They are yes. difficult. I must say, he is a great teacher. But I saw, I saw many men change their own life and their own concept because it's very difficult. And luckily for the Taoist philosophy, man is inferior than the woman because she can create life, she can nurture life inside her, she is more connected with her feelings, her emotions, she lives longer than men, she is naturally connected to the earth, she is telepathic, she has the ability to endure pain more than men, and she can have sex for how long she desires. She can have many and different orgasms. So this is the starting point. <laughs> yeah. The Tao creates different techniques so to bring to bring men at the same level of the woman. Therefore if the man starts to practice the Tao, he reaches he reaches the woman on all levels. During the intercourse, the main difference is that when the man reaches the orgasm, he ejaculates, and then he has to stop. The woman can continue <coughs> ever and ever. <laughs> so man has to train himself to reach the level of the woman. For the ancient sages, the sperm is the most powerful energy at the man's disposal. They said that one drop of semen it's equal to 100 drop of blood. The semen is quite important because it is rich with protein, vitamins, hormones, and one thing that the science can't today even explain, it, ha it has inside the life force. In every ejaculation, we eject like 300 millions of sperm, and they are all potential human beings. 
and you need several days to replace the sperm and to create a new complete ones. And every day we spend like the 30% of energy to recreate the sperm. It's a lot of energy. <laughs> yeah. So for the Taoist, it's really important that man learn to conserve his sperm, his male energy. With the Taoist techniques, man learns how to control completely the ejaculation, and this is the main point. In our society, society we believe that ejaculation is the male orgasm, is the male satisfaction. This is not true, because the ejaculation is only a consequence of the orgasm. Breath. <laughs> Right, men. Okay. We know the ordinary orgasm, uh, as we call, misunderstood with ejaculation. This is an explosion of pleasure. It's a peak. It's and this peak lasts three seconds, and then we lose completely our erection, our energy. We want to sleep, and we need space. <laughs> And we have to wait to have another erection and another e ejaculation. So the Taoist way teaches how to block the ejaculation every time that the urge to ejaculate comes in order to open up a different type of orgasm. We can call it superior orgasm. It's more internal, it's more feminine, it's an energy movement inside the body. It's not the energy that leaves the body, the, the body anymore. And you can have multiple orgasms during the intercourse. So you can have one, two, three, four, like a woman. And this is a very easy practice once man deals with the proper techniques. But to learn completely the techniques, an average about three months. Yeah, for us it's easier. We have few few exercises. Um, for women, the the question, the big question, is about emotions. We are flow of emotions, a lot of emotions, and to be really in harmony, all the chakras, you know, and and be ready to open up to the mystery. Uh, it's a path. And my experience of 15 years of therapy with uh, individual session groups and, and couple sessions, what I see is that women are often drive by emotions, not by their own purity and their own alignment and their own essence, uh, to really be ready to know the man for who he is not from our expectation, what we want from him, what we expect by him. Yes, yes, I see that I see yes, yes around. <laughs> <laughs> What's my project, what I want to, I want two kids and a house and uh, I want a German and I want this, I want that. Yeah, women are, <laughs> I want this, I want this. And we lose, we lose a great opportunity that is to open up all our system to the mystery, to the energy that comes from the higher levels and tell also to us uh, who we are, where this sexual energy bring us, uh, not our mind, but what really our essence desire. What is it about? The essence is here. It's not about chakra. Essence is a star. I can see aura field since I was eight years old, and I, I swear you, I, I, I often see chakras, sh a lot of work to do on the chakras, and the essence, when the chakras are in equilibrium, so the essence come, come out, and that's beautiful. Because it, the essence is really about 
I'm in equilibrium and I can really know you from a place of nowhere, no time, and I'm just here with you to know who we are, know what I want from you, who we are. No. Breath. Without any guarantee. Guarantee. You know, even marriage. I mean, I married. Uh, some people ask me, "Why are you married?" I mean, I married because we had a story, a, a very strong story with medicine plant from Brazil. That's why I married with my, with Saul. I mean, that's why we we had the history. But it was a spiritual one. It wasn't just I want to marry you. You know, none of us had this because it's beautiful to be in the moment and. Uh, realize that the mystery is ready to be manifest in the sexuality while I'm with you, while I breath with you, while I know you, without any words, without no mind. But before to come here, women really need to work on their own emotions because we have a lot we are beautiful in this, but we need to give space to our emotions. There is a lot of work that I do, for example, uh, on the sea, because the sea is Yemanja in Brazil. It, the sea is emotion, maternity, uh, fertility, love, abundance. And the, the sea, what does the sea? The sea sometimes is calm, the sea sometimes is... <laughs> It's strong, you know, the sea is the sea, the bands, right? So we need really to know our emotions to come to essence, okay? And there are some practical exercises, and maybe at the end of this workshop, I like you, I like you. So maybe at the end of this workshop, <laughs> yeah, I'm already falling in love with you girls. I see your eyes curious, yes. So maybe at the end of the, the worship, I mean, we can do something together. And really, there are some exercises that help you to lift up the energy and wash the emotions, wash the emotions, until you're really clear of who are you see, what you see in front of you with this man, what you can create, what, what is about this field together. Because when we are together, you are one field, one field. There's no more two fields. It's one horror field, right? And even in m homosexual uh, relationship, there are some other things to do, but it's the same. Yes, it's one horror field. Yeah, it's one. It's no more two. It's one. Yeah. I come back on the structural <laughs> <laughs> A lot of men do the coitus reservatus, uh, that means that, that at the end of the intercourse, uh, they don't ejaculate. But this practice, a long time, it isn't healthy, because it creates a lot of pressure on the prostate gland and to the testicle. So you need to learn the practice to manage the retain of semen in a proper way. Men so don't need to ejaculate unless he wants a baby. So how many times during the lifetime he need to ejaculate? One, two, three, four. It's a lot. Uh, all the other times this is this is a loss of energy and nobody can really digest or transform it. So the sexual energy is the energy, the flow inside us every day, and we can exchange this energy with our partner in a subtle way. So during the intercourse, the making love, a lot of hormones are produced by the sexual glands, that are the testicles and the prostate gland. If we ejaculate, we get rid of these precious hormones but if we retain the ejaculation, these hormones nurture the other glands, 
the surrealan, the pancreas, the chemo, the thyroid, the pituitary, and the pineal gland. So this is the chemistry of the chakras, the spirituality. And in fact, all these glands are located in the first chakra, about testicle and prostate, the second chakra, the surrenal, the pancreas, the third, the timo, and the heart, thyroid, the fifth, pituitary, and pineal, the sixth and the seventh chakra. And the job of the glands are to regulate, regulate the function of the organs. We can feed the eye energy, all the vital centers, with our sexual energy. So this is the chemistry of the evolution and the alchemy of the awakening of the Kundalini. During the intercourse, we produce hormones and electric magnetic force. You can notice this because when you feel aroused, all your body is alive. It's charged by a new field of energy. This is the electromagnetic force within us that makes move your sperm in your testicles. If we don't ejaculate, this energy force starts to circulate in all our body, feeding the higher vital center, pineal gland, heart, pituitary gland, and the brain. So man can transform semen into spirit. We transform the sexual energy into spiritual force to evolve, to enrich our brain and our heart. If man ejaculates, he loses he lose a lot of, of his own vital energy because all the body is involved to recreate this new energy, this new sperm. If a man continues to ejaculate, he starts to weaken himself, his immune system. He starts to get older. Then he perceives the woman like a, as a person who wants to draw from him a lot of energy and he starts to hate unconsciously the woman because she wants energy that can make him happier. So the Taoist practice helps to harmonize the energy within us and then in the couple. Sometimes it happens uh, that men losing the semen, they lose their magnetic pole, the young energy. And so they start to, lo to lose interest for the partner. They need to recharge themselves, maybe staying alone, sleeping in different beds, or seducting other women in order to recharge themselves. When they feel completely recharged, they come back and the relationship doesn't need to get over. If the man doesn't get rid of his own male energy, he feels really powerful with a lot of energy. He acquires self-confidence, security, happiness. He starts to feel complete and from this point he can really love the woman in a deeper way, becoming really independent. Yeah, and uh, it's beautiful to see what happened when the men start to do this practice at the beginning. I'm talking about several years ago. At the beginning, I remember that was really, really important for the women to tune into the rhythm of the man. That is something a little bit difficult because um, the man need time to learn it so if you are in couple you really need to tune your energy field your power as a woman a little bit you know tune into your your power and get maybe some sometimes backwards and some, some t sometimes forward you know it's cooperation so if you start to do Tao practice, it's really important to at least a, 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 a partner, a fixed partner, or a, with every partner you need to, to tell, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm practicing, you know, as a man, I'm practicing, so you just tune into my rhythm, because if you push too much as a woman, 
Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't go anywhere. This practice, you know, the the man ejaculates, and so and, and the energy is gone, right? So uh, and it's a very good exercise for women too, because women learn how to be connected with the heart, with the erotic energy, with sensuality, without enter into a young power like pushing too much, or knowing if the man that uh, that is is having intercourse with her is the right one for her because when you're feeling very female f feminine when you feel very very powerful in your acceptance and you feel very sensual maybe the man that you have in front of you it's too much sometimes happen during the intercourse you are feeling very sweet, very, very in acceptance. So you are in your yin energy. You feel very hot, and you get hot. But and then it's too much for that man, and maybe he ejaculates. So this is wrong. It's a wrong, uh, you know, uh, combination. It can happen. This you know each other very well with this practice. You understand if it's good or not for you. Like the measures, uh, the measures, uh, the questions that every time every, every people say to me, what about the measures? Well, the measures are totally important, come on. <laughs> there are different vagina and there are different penis, so why? <laughs> why? Because there is different combination. So it doesn't mean that you have to change partner if uh, the combination, the physical combination is not good. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not saying this. You can also do something else, but oh, for sure the penetration will be not so much satisfying, right? This is a fact. This is nature. We are together because nature uh, draws us to be together. So we are different because we, we need to know each other and to know the, the right combination for us. So it's really important also that aspect, that physical aspect, right? So what is important in combination is the physical aspect and the, the erotic aspect. So in which way this man can make me hot? before he said women are cold here our cold pole is here right our warm pole is here so we need a man who can enter in our field making us out here right first of all because otherwise and nothing happened nothing start the energy comes in into the body of the woman from the first chakra then we give back from the second chakra so creative what does it mean that the energy of the first chakra that come in is just fire what he said before when a man likes a woman what he does Boom. this this is the energy that you feel when a woman when a man is attracted by you like to oh? did you say something <laughs> <laughs> I feel something <laughs> So that, then it's up to me what to do, right? Let's, uh, let's see, okay, my, my second chakra can open and be creative. The second chakra can be sensual, right? So the woman, what does the woman do? What does the woman do? Yeah, yeah. 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 well, the woman do this. <laughs> so open up, right, like this. I want to be beautiful, right? So then the second, the third chakra, so again, the man give energy to the third chakra, direction, direction. So the man start to, to say, oh my God, I like this woman, fire. And then making love and then what am I do now? Where I go? Where I go with this woman? A man do this, third chakra. And the woman go to the third to the fourth chakra and give energy give energy love support maternity sometimes with kids uh, comprehensive including right this is woman woman's gift we are love we are cooperating naturally we are love that walking on the planet earth so we love 
And so we go there. <laughs> we go there in that vibration, very softly. And the man. <gasps> Again. You know? So it does it's work like this. We love and the man fire. And then we take the fire and up, 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 up. And then we if, we, if we can go farther, we can go also like sh here, more, hara, you know, hara, what is it? Grounding, sh spiritual story. Na, 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 na. Very, very, very seldom, but when it happens, click. Sh <laughs> Someone of you knows. <laughs> I see. So the goal of the Tao is to harmonize the energy inside and with the partner. The two lovers during the intercourse exchange a lot of energy. Subtle energies with their genitals, with their body. And they create a powerful elect electromagnetic field. And they can expand their consciousness, become a pillar of vibrating energy. They can fuse themselves and become the superior orgasm. The Kundalini can awaken um, and the couple can grow together and harmonize the energy. The woman needs the energy of the man. Man needs the energy of the woman in order to balance himself and herself because our internal balance is due to the balance between the male and female energy, the yin and the yang energy. And uh, the point is the man loses energy during the making love, woman not. The woman loses her energy during the period and so the goal of the woman is to transform the blood into chi, blood into energy. Because the woman lose a lot of um, energy losing the blood every 28 days. You yeah, yeah. yeah the, uh, they, they lose energy with a, through ejaculation and we lose energy through menstruation, yeah, period. So there, there is an exercise that I can, I can teach you that stop the menstruation, stop the period, or at least uh, make it shorter, like two days instead of five, for example. So it's, it's a less lack of blood. And this energy is really for you to bring it into your organs and for and it's really healthy. Am I, am I doing this since uh, uh, five years? Uh, he is retaining ejaculation since uh, more than five yeah, years. Five, six, five, six okay, years, yes. yeah. yeah. So <laughs> we are alive. We are alive. <laughs> we are alive. So it's possible. It's more, it's simple, more energy at disposal. And it's uh, for us, it's simple. Uh, for men, let's say, you need determination, I might say. You need to be determined, yeah. For women, it's uh, an e easy exercise. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, the, 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 the really difficult stuff are about emotions and uh, issues that uh, I work it out in individual session or groups of women, yeah, or medicine plan too. Yeah, yeah so the point is, is to get access for the man to the negative pool, that is the heart, and for the woman, the genital area. Because the man loses control when he opens his heart and the woman loses control when she opens to the sexual vulnerability. The man with his penis eat the woman and the woman with his capacity to live eat the heart of the man. To allow this we need to conserve and to transform the sexual energy. So our prayer is uh, if you if you need uh, uh, 
to experiment something really deep with your s with your own sexuality or with the others. I mean, it's really beautiful practice. Taoist, Taoist Tao practice is really beautiful. Uh, give you to you a lot of harmony and and beauty inside you to offer and to exchange with a partner. And uh, I would love to say. Um, I don't know if I if I can do I can do the if some women want wants to yes, want we can do it. yeah yes, we, we can, can do, do it, it. Yes. as a offer people yes, offer yes, what they want donation, free offer, a yeah. donation yes. so if someone wants wants to follow me uh, I would go to a sound temple maybe uh, uh, back to the sound temple to show this exercise at least this one to. Uh, stop the menstruation and uh, or reduce the the period by a donation. It's okay, and uh, and uh, I will I will I can teach this. Yes, now yeah. now I'd say now the after same the stuff, Yes, for the man, we can do it now in ten minutes. We can go over there and we can start the first exercise. <laughs> the basics to understood how to understand how to control the ejaculation so it will last uh, 30 minutes 40 minutes with a donation free offer so Can you, you give are a welcome to this woman that if she wants yeah. Can you, do you have a mic maybe ask the question and then you repeat if you want you can come here to come kiss <laughs> Okay, I want to ask you a question about male uh, masturbation. Yeah. The reason why it's because I have two young teenagers, and when it comes to ejaculation, male ejaculation in masturbation, what what can you say about that? Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. yes. Masturbation uh, is uh, man. Uh, yes, man masturbation. Yes, and um, it's a real. Uh, big stuff for the man uh, masturbation because during the exercise to learn how to control the ejaculation the masturbation becomes really important just to train themselves to block completely the ejaculation because uh, if not it's quite difficult when a man meet a woman it's impossible so I have to train a lot I have to train a lot you with masturbation and so he blocked the ejaculation until the point of no return. So he gets aroused like at 98% and he starts to block the ejaculation and repeat this for five, six, seven times and then uh, finish when he wants. You want an answer? Oh, well, nobody, nobody listens to you. Okay, um, yeah, thanks for letting me speak. Um, yeah, I, 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 I find your, your talk very interesting, but I was wondering if maybe you have any, um, any advice about, for example, how to detach people from the mental conditioning, because I think one of our biggest problems in our society is basically the mental conditioning that we are brought up with that you know, men have to be like sexually aggressive and always like protective. Of <laughs> I know that. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> Am I after you <laughs> already? <laughs> no, but it's true. Uh, I think this is one big topic that uh, people. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think we need to, we do need to detach from those roles, those sexual roles, those gender roles, which are really kind of not really doing any functions anymore, you know, like, I, I don't see the, the effort anymore in that, you know. Yeah, for yeah. that I work, that's my work, I work in individual sessions, this issue, and groups, uh, because this is about, I, I started emotional and body work, uh, and it's all about this, you know, any, any, of, any of you that can feel this mental, condi you know, mental yeah, this is my this is my work. It's a work. It's a path, because this depends on your family issue. You know, it's a long story. That's why I'm saying before. You know, there is a lot of a lot of to talk before of sex. 
Yeah. Yes, we can. Something. It's really important. Thank you. Thank you for letting yeah. me speak. I'd just like to know if there are any specific exercises for the elder couple and certainly exercises for postmenopausal women. Yes, yes, it's the same, it's the key, it's the same exercise that I'm going to teach you now. Because there, this exercise is the key assi exercise to be healthy and to feel very, very healthy, or even in, you know, elder, yeah, yeah, even for elders, yes, yes, or a menopause or whatever. It's one, it's, it's simple, really, for women it's really simple. What is difficult is um, about this issues. Yeah. Family I want to answer about this therapy. stuff uh, because it's quite important for uh, men because the most clicked uh, website in the world is Pornhub. <laughs> so, first of all, we have to purify completely our uh, images, trip, mental trip, and so starts to stop to watching uh, porn, video porn. Uh, and that other stuff. Because we have to purify completely our energy. Because uh, when we watch a porn, a video, this is only a mental energy. This is not the sexual energy, because the sexual energy is when we feel it in our body. And so, after two months, the image starts to go away. And so, Yes, the man has to train himself as to avoid something and to do other stuff. And there is nothing wrong if you if you see porn, you can work it out with me on, on Skype session that I do because there is some mental, as I said before, family issues, uh, mental uh, conceptions, uh, you know, uh, any problems can be worked out in therapy, of course, you know, and there's nothing wrong if you have, if you feel that, oh my gosh, um, in sex, uh, I'm, I feel like this, I feel like that, and you judge this, and it's not helpful, you know, if you judge the point uh, from where you start, you can start from any point, right? From any point, really any, any. Eh? I saw a lot of points in my life, <laughs> in my therapy <laughs> experience. Yeah, but it's okay. Everything is okay. It's just about cleansing, purification, acceptation of the point of my, my starting point, and then I know where I want to go, right? In couple or, you know, because, um, for example, I saw a lot of people that look and talking about sexuality. They are talking about, um, yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm free, I'm sexual, uh, sexually free, I don't have any problems, blah, blah, blah. I, I do sex wherever I want, with whom I want, la, 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 la. This, for example, it's a, it's a way, uh, second chakra, where, where the energy keeps on the second chakra, the second level. So no heart involved, no heart involved, you know, no project, no vision together. It's only here. And looking at the aura fields, so for me it's really easy when I, when I work, because I don't open every time because I get crazy, but <laughs> when I open my ashna to see the aura field of people when I work, I can help, for example, with couple. I, I help a lot of couple because I see where the energy gets stuck. You know, some couples go on and the energy is just stuck on the second chakra, for example, or just here. They don't have any spiritual issue together or nothing, no project, and they just stay here or just remain here with the kids and maybe someone needs some other experience so we need to uplift the energy, you know energy talk very clearly right and so it's really important to be aware of where you are so you you can know where you want to go that's important and no judge no judge on your starting point because wherever you start is good <laughs> otherwise any anybody will start you know because it, there's no perfection or uh, you know there, there's no that no perfect point, right? Any any of you has is experience? Yes. 
Yeah, it's funny you said something about gay couples, but can you tell me more about that? Because as it's all about like man female energy, and what I, because I'm bisexual, and what I notice is that the, exactly the fire of the man is too much for me. It makes me like feel like I have to protect myself. And I shall die. Fire of men? Yeah, it's like they are so like boom, and I'm like, oh my god, go away from me. So <laughs> I don't know where people recognize this, but. And I, especially like I, like this area is cold, but it gets warm if somebody else opens up the heart. So it gets warm because uh, when there's a woman, I get sexual arousal way easier yeah. because they do it from the heart, and that I know that. So yeah. that's different. You, you want I, I will not go in the specific because we are in front of yeah. thousands of people. <laughs> I know the answer, but you know. Yeah. We can talk later. Okay. You'd <laughs> <laughs> be very shocked, but don't. Yeah. I'm just uh, wondering about the exercises because I really want to hear both. So. Is it like a different times afterwards? You gonna This is for men and this, this is, is for, for women? Yeah. So I can't listen to the man? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't have to. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But if I want to, I can't. No. No, it's <laughs> not in the group of men. No, no, no. Thank you. <laughs> 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 and then for uh, but let me say something about homosexual because she said she asked me um, for women uh, often the the intercourse of women and women uh, is only with the, the stimulation of clitoris and uh, this is for Tao is uh, is bringing to an unbalanced. So it's really important that uh, women and women, when they stimulate uh, their self, uh, they don't use only the stimulation of clear clitoris, uh, but also internal points, because the internal points are connected to organs. In, in this in this order, the first uh, the first part of vagina is uh, kidney, and then uh, mensa, uh, pancreas, uh, spleen, and then. Um, Heart and uh, yeah. lungs. Uh, yeah, so it's really important to stimulate also inside, right? Often happens that only the stimulation of clarity is, uh, is doing in this practice. So that's yes, it's yeah. quite important for the homosexual couple because did you remember before we said about the balance between in and the young? So a couple with a male and a female, they, ca they can exchange the male and the female energy and so this energy is going to be balanced within inside the couple and uh, what about uh, two women? They exchange only in energy, female energy so they have to balance in a proper way to absorb male energy in an other way with exercises for example and the same for two men together, they recharge themselves always with male energy and they need to have a balance inside, about health, emotional, mental balance, to absorb in energy. And so there are many techniques to absorb in energy and male energy. So, we conclude this uh, conference now, and uh, thank you to everybody to be here, to listen to. So in five minutes, men who wants is welcome. It's this here. side, Dharma. In five minutes. Here in five minutes, there, five minutes. Uh, like me lake. with the woman and sound temple uh, on this way. And I give you my phone number, so if you want to write it down, because I will never take all the emails of you. So, so it is. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I leave yeah. some of my cards here. So. He has the cards, structure, men. He has the cards. <laughs>
I give him my phone. <laughs> Please give him one Do you want big round of applause. You one want... more time. Yeah, yeah. Do you want... So, and do my big Thank you. Thank you. So, you want to really laugh in this conference where I have to where I have to speak uh, is written symbol. Mm -hmm. Symbol. I mean, you read it, and then symbol means that I that I talk. <laughs> so my number is zero zero three nine three three nine. Can I take? What? You can take. <laughs> Four two. No, it's too 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 fast. So. Let's do like this, like Bobby McFerrin. Zero, zero, three, nine. Three, three, nine. Four, two, eight. Eight, three, four, five. Bye. See you soon. Ciao.